Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go up to here, and I've already signed in, but you're going to press on there to sign in, and it is your DET name, so Simone.Hirsch, and then instead of at det.newsouthwales.edu.au, it's at education.newsouthwales.gov.au, and then it will say sign in username and password, it's all your DET username and password. When you've done that and you've signed into Google, come back to the Google homepage and click on these little buttons there. Those, they, these are your apps. And we'll go into Slides. So we'll open this one up. And yours will probably be quite blank at this point. Obviously, I've already made some. But you can just start a new presentation here. Here it will open up almost exactly like um, PowerPoint. It is pretty much PowerPoint, but on Google. Just a few small differences. So here you go, you will start, you can then go back to your document here that we have. And I'm going to just cut here, so I'll just select those and I can right click and do paste, oh sorry, not paste, copy, or I can just press Control C as you can see here. So here we have it, Control C, and I'll go straight back up there. Oh, hello people who are in here. Who's in here today? Joe and Callum, hello. Then we'll come back up here to the top and we will stick the learning intention here. And that just means here, and then you can right click or you can just do Control V to paste. And to keep all the formatting the same, we will. So there we go, it's pasted in there. And I will just write. <laughs> we will write learning intention here, like this. And we'll select it all here and make it into Century Gothic. And I think we'll have it at, let's say, 24. It's a little bit big. Maybe let's make it 18. And bold. You can do bold up there or press Control B. Then back again to this document here and grab in the success criteria. And we'll literally control C back up here again, control V in it goes. And we will just, so to keep the formatting the same, if you need to have a look at the one that I shared with you all, we'll make the select success criteria uh, 14 and I'll write success criteria and just get rid of that bullet point and make that bold so that will be the same there and we can just get rid of those bullet points here get rid of them okay so now we have it like that what we're going to do is we're going to give the title um, this a name and we're going to call it whatever the um, pro progression marker is. So I think this one is PHA3 and then just so that it's obvious what it's about, I'm just going to write, um, oh, say two or three sounds separately and say the full word. So I'll just write syllables two or three blends. 
and maybe I should just call it blends, whatever, that's fine, just so we have a general reference for there, but also we have that. And then whatever colour, so in the last ones I was making all of them pink because um, they were the grammar ones, but for this one, if I just have a look here, back here, these are all blue. So see here how this is the one of the blue ones. So we're just going to make that colour code the same. And we'll go here up to here. Fill colour. Make that one, make it light blue so we can still see. And then we want to make this success criteria into a lighter blue as well. There we go. Now we're going to go up here. You can see the um, plus sign and we're going to just hit the little arrow pointing down so we can choose the style of slide. We want a title and body slide. And here is where we go back and we select whichever success criteria is going to go. So just say I'm going to be doing focusing on that one. And I'm going to write here. Control V, and then I'm going to just do a SC like that, and color make that bold. Then I'm going to make the this one light. So again, it keeps that consistent formatting. Then I'll come back onto this one, and I will. Oh, whoops! I put the success criteria here, so I should have really chosen that. Um, and I'll say, look at this video on syllables. So control C. I actually might even take the whole video clip just so I've got it there. Control C. If this is too fast, I'm just trying not to have a really long, boring video for you all. You can always either stop it or just ask me to do some of it again. I'm happy to do it again in parts or even help you through it step by step if that's more helpful but I'm just giving you a rough idea because I think once you actually get in and play with it, it will be absolutely fine. Um, now here we've got, look at this video on syllables. So that's where I've put the content in. Then I'm going to go up to insert and choose video. Put the video in here, put the link in here, control V again, which means paste. And there we go. Select that one and put it in. So there we go. And now the video is in there. So that was insert video, put the thing in, select it like that, but and then select down here. Okay. Now we are on the next page, so just again, another one like this. Now this time I'm going to have the activity. Now remembering we don't want to have a lot of words on each page, so rather than having the video and the activity on the same page, we're going to try and make minimal amount of writing on each page, because as we know, our learners work best with maximum white space. So we want it to be nice and big for them to be able to see. And we'll see how 14 goes. Um, so you could do 14, you could even make it 18 if you wanted to. And um, I think 14 might be better for this one. But in some cases I've actually split it up and put half the activity on this one and half the activity on the next one. Now for this one, I'll just check what the success criteria was. It was still this one. The syllables and I can say two or three sounds separately. So I'll just get that success criteria up. Control C to copy it. Back in here. Control V. And I'll just do the same thing here, just again because we want that format so that every slide looks the same. And I think we have the success criteria on a separate line. You can play around with this little bit. And we want to make that again 
that color. So they'll start getting used to the format. Um, now at the end of all of your slides, after you've done that with all of them, you're going to have a slide for references. And annoying that I have to keep changing it back to this, but let, here you go. And we'll just write references. And throughout, because it's best practice to always acknowledge everything, we're just going to select the videos. So here, I think I can select this one. And when I press play, it should allow me to copy that link. Or if not, I've got, I've got the link um, copied somewhere else. And then I will put it in here under references. So we're going to try again and reference everything that is not our own. So the syllables video, um, this one here, the sparkle box resources, that type of thing. So we've just acknowledged everything along here that we haven't made ourselves. Okay. Okay, so I've just paused the recording because it was just taking a long time to load and you don't need to see me do everything a hundred times because you can rewind if you want to. So now I've just done the same thing again. I've gone to insert video, put in the link and press select and here's the next link and I'll put that here and then again I will get another page because this is the maximum amount that I want. So your turn or that I think we should have but obviously open to all your feedback of what you all think is really good as well um, which is really nice I think that we've got such a broad range of experience on the team um, here we go here and now we have quite a few slides all together hopefully you can see what I was doing there just trying to fill those things and now the next slide here is what I wanted to show you. We go to the online game, so I'll do that the same. Just put one slide for this online game, one slide for this online game, and then the activity for bingo. Now, what you need to do when we're making um, online learning materials, we need to make sure that we have an audio element, which we'll cover later. And we also want to have a visual element all the time because as we know in any way our students always need visuals as do most students but particularly our students so I'm going to control V put that one back in here and so I just got rid of that because as you can see it glitched so I'll just go back in again and I will cover now I won't select here the boxes that I've created in here, which was just an example. I'm only going to select the text, otherwise that's why it started to become silly. So Control C to copy it or right click and C and then right click or Control V to paste it here. And after I've changed the font here, I will now just enter um, insert text box or table. I think I'll insert a table because I'm doing a bingo board. Sorry, that's my phone in the background. <laughs> my daughter changed my ringtone. Just ignore that. Um, so you can insert a shape if you want to make shapes in there. But I'm just going to insert a table because mine is a bingo board that I'm trying to show. And I'll put that here. And I think it is something like this. Whatever I'm writing in the bingo board. And again, I can just select all of that and change it to whichever font I like again. And that will be the bingo part of it. That's probably all I would have on this page is just that one. Then I would go to the next page and I would have another one here and I go back and select the rest of it now obviously and then paste it onto those ones there 
So when I'm doing cut out the letter cards here, it says cut out some letter cards. I'd probably use shapes in that to show that. So I'd put